Here are some features when it comes to adult individual counselling. First, the advice and information are in the forms of communication in which interpersonal and depth of relationship are less concerned. Second, the wider in the information, less in the definition of the counselling process. Third, focus on guidance packages, if any. So as continuing education providers create more instructional options and greater organisational flexibility, counsellors are becoming more central in the assessment of educational needs and also the selection of alternative learning activities. Counselling works in areas such as community-based counselling, workplace counselling, private sector counselling, academic re-entry counselling, university or colleges counselling, diversity counselling and many others. Each community counselling has its own unique features. For example, purpose of counselling and what services the counselling offers, any training, any training program or perhaps what sort of counselling model is used. Workplace counselling contacts the workers or employees who perhaps need extra training courses for career advancement, duration of life, and upskill the experience and knowledge. So in the private sector, the counsellors could be the manager, the administrative officer, or perhaps the owner of the company himself or herself. Matters discussed could range from assessment process the learning contract, the learning strategies, and coaching. Sometimes the need to discuss whether the employees should need extra courses to upskill their working knowledge and experience, so as to promote further. Sometimes university or colleges counselling could be on the matters whether a student should need uh, academic re-entry so it is important that matters such as professional for flexibility, convenience and also individualization require institutional attention. And also responses that are diverse, holistic and match to the changing needs of lifelong learning of the students. For more information on counseling the adult learners, watch my previous video part 2 from the link above. University and colleges counselling also caters for students' needs such as study strategies, career path, financial assistance, styles of counselling. For example, number one, in the large hospital, directly to the staff and sometimes through human resource, HRD, and some from employees' immediate supervisor and also some from other sources. Number two, diversity counseling. Counseling and dealing with diversity use intervention. Preferable to have the uh, counselors who have the knowledge to deal with the diversity. For more information, watch my previous video, Counseling Adult Learners Part 1, from the link above. Number three, counseling services for adults in the public schools. For example, comprehensive counselling services, interagency linkages and classroom counselling. Number four, career guidance. Focus on the computer mediated vocational and career guidance. Number five, non-traditional approaches is using technologies, of course, which presents the majority preference from the society and the world as a whole. Finally, thank you for your participating, watching and listening. Until next time.